guys, it's Karen and I've got a dupe for you. Um, apologies for seeing me in the same hair and lipstick and t-shirt etc but I've got some time this morning to do a video. I wanted to do a dupe for you which is a bit of an odd dupe because this dupe I found probably a year and a half ago, two years and it wasn't a dupe for the colour is why I didn't show it as a dupe and I wasn't, I don't know why I didn't show it as a dupe actually. Maybe I have done, maybe I've done a video and I'm just going insane and I can't remember it. So again, apologies if you've already seen it. But this is a dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear. You know what, the reason I didn't do it was because I haven't had the Estee Lauder Double Wear for that long. Um, anyway, I used to get Estee Lauder Double Wear in sand beige. Desert beige, not sand beige, desert beige. I can't remember the numbers. But more recently, I got one in a crew. In this is in one and two, a crew, and it was only a couple of weeks ago. I thought, you know what, the 17, the 17 stay time, this is the dupe, is exactly the same as this in everything other than colors. So I thought, let me have a look at the ingredients and let me have a look at the colors and see if they match. These two are exactly the same colour, so I was like, it's the perfect time to say this is a dupe. I'll tell you about the ingredients, etc. And um, yeah, let you know what I think, but let me show you the colour. So this one is 17 stay time in natural. Um, and let me do, I've already got a little bit of a sample on my hand already of that one. That's that one. And let me then do one of this. I'm actually just going to tip some of this into the lid. Oh, oh, too much coming out, too much coming out. Okay, so let me put that one beside it and show you. Look at those colours together. That one looks a little bit more creamy, doesn't it? But they are almost identical, I think you'll agree. Almost identical in colour. And they are almost... No, they are to me identical in formula. I can't tell the difference between them. The downside of this one is that the 17 stay time I think is only available in the UK. I don't know if it's available in the US. If I can find it anywhere in the US for you, I will link it below. Um, but that's what the two colours look like. So I'll tell you everything um, about how they apply, etc. Um, I just don't see any differences between them. So they apply in exactly the same way. They are both as thick as each other. Um, they're both as full coverage as each other. They both apply best, in my opinion, with a beauty blender so that they don't look cakey. If you apply either of them with a brush, I feel like they look quite cakey. But applying with a damp beauty blender really makes it, makes it a flawless finish, a nice full coverage. They both last as long. Um, they're both great for oily skin. They, 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 they look exactly the same, in my opinion. And I think if... If somebody gave me this in a blind test, I would think it was the Estee Lauder Double Wear. There really is no difference to me. Um, the Double Wear is an SPF 10. If you're concerned about having SPF and you would like SPF in your foundation, Estee Lauder is an SPF 10. 17 Stay Time is an SPF 25. They're both the same in that you get 30 mil in the 17 and you get 30 mil in the Estee Lauder. The Estee Lauder one is currently 22 pound on Look Fantastic. That's the cheapest price I can find for it. This one is on Boots at, oh, I keep on doing that, I keep on taking it away, taking it off the screen. Six pound 49 this is. Um, the biggest difference will be that there is um, more colors in this range. In, this, in the Estee Lauder, yeah, there's 52 colors to choose from in the Estee Lauder Double Wear. There are six colors to choose from in the Boots 17 Stay Time. So whether or, this, whether or not this works for you is dependent on whether you can find the right color. And I have to say, I didn't find the exact color I wanted. Um, but then neither did I in the Estee Lauder. Despite the fact that there's a million and one colours, I still couldn't find the perfect colour for me. So Ecru is much better than this, the Desert Beige. Um, but in this one, I couldn't decide between the natural and the one above it, the lighter one. Um, but actually, I think I might buy the, the one above it and mix the two of them. Okay, one other thing to mention is that Estee Lauder have got a big statement on their website about animal cruelty and whether they test on animals and they have put it in a way that they don't test on animals unless required by law so basically that means that they do to do with the whole china thing um and i'm not going to go too deep into it but estee lauder is a company that i wouldn't want to repurchase this, so i'm definitely looking for a replacement boots 17 there is a statement on the boots website that says they do not under any circumstances test on animals however um I don't believe they're listed on PETA, PETA, PETA as being cruelty free. However, there's a lot of people that are cruelty free, are listing boots as being cruelty free. So for now, this is a better bet than this. Um, but we, 
we need to look further into this and find out our boots actually cruelty free and as i said in my vlog when i talked about cruelty free everybody has a different line as to where cruelty free is and so the first thing you can do is cut out the companies that openly admit to sending their um to testing in china you know to selling their products in china where they will know that they will be tested on animals um and going with things like these say they don't so for the moment you can take it as they don't, but it's up to each and every person as to how far you look into that and how much research you do is to find out is that true. And again, as I said in that video, where is the line drawn? Because even Paula's Choice, they use cochineal, which is boiling thousands of beetles. So some people wouldn't want to use that either. So there are levels. But anyway, it was just to kind of clarify where these two were on that. I believe that at the moment, this one is more likely to be less, more likely to be cruelty free than Estee Lauder. Um, Ingredients. Ingredients are the only other thing and I'm afraid I'm going to need to put my glasses on for this <laughs> because the ingredients are online for the Estee Lauder and they are, the top ingredient is water, the second ingredient is psycho cyclopentosilaxane which is a silicone. So if that bothers you, um, that might be a problem. The third ingredient is a silicone, fourth, fifth ingredient is a silicone. Um, there is no alcohol in the Estee Lauder one which is good. Um, and no fragrance, which is also very good. So I think that this one would be okay for sensitive skin. Let's have a look at this one. Um, funny enough, exactly the same top two ingredients. The second one is cyclopentosilaxane. Uh, this one hasn't got quite as much um, silicone in it. This one has got talc in it, which may bother you. Some people don't want talc in their foundations. And this one seems to have a bit more a bit more ingredients, a few more ingredients in it. This one has got mineral oil in it, whereas that one doesn't, but it is about number 10 on the list. Um, this one has got parabens. It's just got a little bit of methyl paraben, way low that um, Estee Lauder does not. So there's no parabens in Estee Lauder. There is in this, there is talc in this, and there's not in the Estee Lauder. And that is about it. There's vitamin E in this one. There is no alcohol and there is no perfume in the 17 stay time. So it, you know, it depends on what your wants and needs are. For me, I would go for one. I was gonna wipe that off, but I'll show you it as it's dried. It pretty much looks exactly the same color. Um, my requirements would be, I don't, I don't care about parabens, but I wouldn't want it to have alcohol or fragrance high on the list. And neither of these have alcohol and fragrance in. Um, obviously I'd like it to be cruelty free. I'm gonna go with this one in future and I am gonna use this as my regular foundation, especially since it's a lot less expensive. Two of these is still less than half the price of the Estee Lauder one. Um, I think that's everything there is to tell you, so I will wipe this off my hand because it's not completely dried, either of them. Um, I hope that that was useful to you. F feel free to update us if you know more about um, the whole boots testing on animals. Um, but the trouble is that a lot of people a lot of people go on a hearsay and, and it's very difficult to actually know the truth, to know the real story, because um, certainly I can tell you from working in medical research, it was even difficult for me to find out. I wanted to find out if animals were tested and if they were on the premises I was in and blah, blah, blah. And it was actually difficult for me working there to find out. So I know that you can make a lot of assumptions and never really know what's going on. But in my mind, if a company was not testing on animals, not selling in China, they would be completely open and honest and upfront about it. Um, so like I said, let, let us know if you feel that you know anything more about Boots and Boots 17 and whether or not they do test on animals and um, then people can take that from there. Um, that's everything. I hope that that was useful to you. I know that you like these dupes and they're really useful and they, they will be useful to me in the upcoming months as well. So if I find any more, I'll be sure to let you know. I'm always on the lookout for dupes anyway. My number one dupe to find at the moment is the NARS Laguna Bronzer because I love it, love it so much. I mean, I'm not gonna run out of it quickly, but if I find a dupe, I will be letting you know. So thanks very much and I'll speak to you again soon.